Would you like to beat me for a minute and say something really stupid? No, I, I would like to say that I have always been wanting to do something to you for a very long time. <laughs> there, maybe I can. That is <laughs> not great. Nice. That is not very nice. I'm Chris Fielding, and I really just want to go up and hit somebody right now on that field. I've got a lot of pent up aggression. <laughs> They have some talented young people behind them. The game's been so tight they've had Yeldon in there for most of it. And Ben Petty. It's a rude welcome to college football. Gang tackled, led by Jack Tyler and Daddy Nicholas. And the thing is, is that Virginia Tech is daring. Alabama to throw the football. It's just a battle of wills. It's almost like Alabama's offense is being stubborn. They have one safety about 15 yards deep, both corners pressed, and eight guys in the line of scrimmage. And they're refusing to challenge Virginia Tech. Now, it's going to come, but right now, they're playing right into Virginia Tech's hands, making it easy to defend a run. Third down and 11. Good protection from this new offensive line. And now McCarron running for his life and taken down from behind. Nigel Williams. And if he's not the National Player of the Week, Chris, there must be somebody else, somewhere else, doing something very special. He's been Alabama's offense tonight. Dave Foster. For the extra point. Trying to make it 35 to 10. Christian Jones, a punt return for a touchdown, a kickoff return for a touchdown, and now a TD reception of 38 yards. All right, so we're talking post-game discussion, Alabama, Vautech. Now, this is one of those games that was closer than the score would indicate. It's typically the other way around. All right. Welcome to the post-game discussion. If I didn't already say that, you're seeing from a few of our Pi Kappa Alpha House Sweethearts, U View Chapter Alpha Tau, giving you props for the week. I know the purple graphics are kind of hard to, they don't necessarily make out on film. They make out great during the intros and the intros, vignette-wise. But this is the new thing. You check out the graphic. You know, around the avatar on the channel, you'll see why I kind of went with this thing. And, you know, purple is the color of royalty. It matches up with the platinum standard that I'm trying to continue on here in Gen 4.0. All right. Doing my best. I'm Danny, a.k.a. The Count, impersonation. Don't know who I'm talking about? Where the heck you been, brother? It's the best reality show on history. Roll clip. We're going to California, and we're bringing this car to Ziggy. We're about five days from leaving. This car has to be there. Yeah. This car this car is literally representing Bob. Can you believe that? That we've been entrusted with representing Bob Marley with his last car. So, we don't have a choice. We've cleaned out the tank twice. We've cleaned out the lines. We are going to literally have to just turn the key and roll the dice. This is Vegas. It's time to gamble. Let's fire this car up and run it. Well, this is it. We're out of time. Even if we could find a new European gas tank for this car, there's no way in the world that we could get it in the car, installed, up and running before we make our deadline. Ain't gonna happen. I gotta trust that my guys have cleaned this gas tank out to absolute perfection so that when we fire this baby up, she runs smooth. Because if not, that means we have failed. And on a job this big, this important, failure, it's just not an option, man. This is Bob Marley's Mercedes. Right, so as you can see, Dude's big time. Us car guys, we're good people. And uh, <laughs> sort of kind of look like him. Had hair even longer than that. I had to do a samurai ponytail through that. But uh, it just so happens, you know, I like this look too. With a guy all high and tight hairdo works just as well. So check it out. Counts uh, or uh, counting cars on history. All right, back to the game. Yeah, uh, as part of Gen 4.0, <clears throat> going to do two things. Based on observation, most of the time it's going to be like, you know, room for improvement. Sometimes it'll be like such a great, you know, thing going on. There's no need for it. But, however, in this game, the Vitek defense, you know, kept him in it. But where's Beamer Ball? 
You know, it's like Beaver Bowl has taken a fall. And as far as the uh, offensive line for Alabama, how about we just say the offense in general? There is no way. Sorry, my uh, YouTube girlfriend there in T-Town, Tuscaloosa Way. She not going like hearing me say this. There's no way they're repeating. Uh-uh. Ain't going to happen. Like I said in the A-Day game, Alabama spring scrimmage, they don't pass the eye test. It just, it's, it's not going to happen. That's the nicest way I can say it. All right, just a reminder, you almost are, is a show. We have to do it vis-a-vis. -vis. The DMCA, Digital Millennium Copyright Act, covers a fair use, standard, minimal use, and derivatives. So it's not my first choice to have to do this, but at least now in Gen 4.0, to, to the two of you who are watching, there's a quick intro with a good music. Right away, boom, into the sporting highlights, boom. The talk show, post-game discussion comes after. You want to get involved vis-a-vis -vis comments? Keep it respectful to your fellow tubers and to the show. No flip comments allowed. All right, as far as questions of Kimpok, when I got time to do it, you know, we don't want to drag this out too long. All right, so just reminding you, alcohol and college football, any football for that matter, they are joined at the hips. So leave the keys in the cabinet. No silly DUIs while you're out there, all right? Later days, more signature. Sing it on and on and on and on and on. The beat don't stop until the break of dawn. I sing it on and on and on and on and on like a hot butter. The pop, the pop, the pop, give it, give it, pop, the pop, pop. You don't dare stop or come alive, y'all. Give me what you got.